Tesla Powerwall 3 EG4 Power Pro ESS. Which is the best solar and battery storage system for your home in 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market leading battery systems in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're coming back to you with another head-to-head -head battery comparison between the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the EG4 PowerPro ESS. Now, before we get into the scoring, I, I wanna explain this because really what we're looking at with these two systems is two completely different architectures. Now, of course, Tesla Powerwall 3 innovated by bringing to the market one of the first truly integrated inverter and battery solutions, meaning that the, the Powerwall 3 is not just a battery, but it is a hybrid inverter and a battery built into a single appliance. So it does the inverter charger function, both for the battery and for solar, and it does the battery storage. Now, the Tesla Powerwall 3 is also a high voltage DC coupled architecture, which means that high voltage DC from your solar array can get delivered directly to the DC battery bus for that high efficiency DC to DC battery charging. Now, on the other hand, when you look at the EG4 solution, it is a modular low voltage solution. And we'll talk more about that as we get into the scoring, but it's not just a battery, it's an inverter, a conduit, and a battery, or could be many batteries connected to that inverter that make up the entire system. But it is a modular system, meaning that you could use a third-party battery if you wanted to, or you could install multiple battery storage modules connected to the single inverter. Now, EG4 uses a low-voltage DC-coupled architecture. Now, when we talk about low voltage in this space, typically that means it's a 48-volt nominal system. And that really had been the standard for off-grid and battery-based systems was that 48-volt nominal. But as you've been following the channel for a while, you know that the trend is going towards more of an all-in-one solution where you're buying all your major components from a single provider, whereas 10 years ago, you might buy your inverter from one company, your battery from a different company, your charge controller from a different company, and your load controller from yet another provider. Now we're seeing this trend towards convergence, what I call convergence, or basically uh, all-in-one platforms where you have a single manufacturer. But as of today, EG4 is still using that modular low voltage architecture. All right, now we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six categories. Each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum overall score of 30 points. Now those categories are power, uh, of course the storage capacity of the battery, the warranty term of the battery, uh, of course the cost of the battery, the cost to have it installed, uh, also, we now evaluate on ease of installation. Uh, and I know for you installers out there, that's especially important as you manage the additional complexity and logistics of installing these heavy solar and battery systems. And then finally, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is a way that I can award additional points to either of the two products where there might not be a direct one-to-one -one comparison, but where some of those unique features could have tremendous impact for you as a potential system owner or installer. And with that, let's get to the comparison. All right, up first here is the Tesla Powerwall 3. Now in terms of power output, the Tesla Powerwall 3 will sustain power output of 11.5 kilowatts, and it has enough surge power to provide up to 185 locked rotor amps for motor starting. So that's gonna really come in handy when you're talking about starting up heavy loads like your air conditioning compressor, for example. Now in terms of storage capacity, Powerwall 3 offers 13 and a half kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity. Now, in some cases, that might be enough to provide for a whole house backup. Maybe if you have a smaller California home where you don't have to worry about central air conditioning loads. But for most US homes, we're gonna be recommending two batteries to have enough capacity for a true whole house backup. Now, in terms of warranty, Tesla offers that industry standard 10-year warranty. That's pretty much what we see emerging as the standard for home battery systems is that 10 year warranty. Now in terms of cost, you're gonna find that the Tesla system is about middle of the road in terms of cost. If you're looking as far as cost of a fully installed system. Uh, and of course, the Powerwall 3, since it is a battery and an inverter, it's a little bit more expensive than if you're adding on just multiple batteries to increase storage. So with the Powerwall 3, if you install full Powerwall 3s, Whenever you increase to multiple batteries, you're adding on storage capacity and you're adding on 
to power output as well, but there's a little bit of a higher cost for that because of those additional internal components. Now, in terms of ease of installation, overall, we get very positive feedback from installers who have been installing the Powerwall 3. Now, one thing I will say is that it is a single integrated appliance. So you are gonna have to lift the entire assembly onto the wall if you intend to wall mount it. It's not something that you can really break apart into individual building blocks. So in most cases, you are gonna have to use some special lift equipment uh, in addition to a minimum two technicians on the installation crew. And then in terms of X-Factor, I'm gonna give the Powerwall 3 plus two X-Factor points. Uh, number one, just for the excellent aesthetics of the product. I think if we're just looking at how the product looks, it looks like a very well-designed, sleek, modern home appliance. Something that I would say would, would not look out of place at all, even being mounted to the exterior of the home. Uh, and also for the nice integration that they've done with the Tesla app. So if you're an existing Tesla vehicle owner, some of the feedback that we hear all the time is that if you're already on the Tesla app for managing your vehicle, being able to manage your power wall and your solar system in one place is really convenient. So this is the Tesla Power Wall 3. All right, next up is the EG4 Power Pro ESS. Now again, folks, when we look at the Power Pro ESS, it's not just a battery, it's a combination of an inverter. In this case, it's the 18K PV, EG4's most popular inverter as of right now. Uh, the conduit box between the inverter and the battery, and then the EG4 Power Pro wall mount battery. Now again, this is a 48 volt, low voltage DC modular system. Now in terms of power output, with the Power Pro system, you get 12 kilowatts of continuous output power. So slight advantage over the power wall here. Also, in terms of storage capacity, you get 14.3 kilowatt hours of storage capacity on the battery. So again, slightly higher than the power wall's 13 and a half. Now in terms of warranty, the Power Pro system also has that standard 10 year battery warranty. Uh, and in terms of cost, I think what you're gonna find is that the Power Pro system is probably gonna be one of the lowest, if not the lowest, total cost per kilowatt hour for the installed system. Now, if you install your system with just the single battery as depicted here, you're gonna be slightly less or maybe right on par with where you would be with a single Tesla Powerwall 3. But as you increase your system size, your scaled cost per kilowatt hour drops dramatically because you can simply add on multiple battery modules without having to buy more inverter capacity, right? As long as you have enough inverter capacity and at 12 kilowatts, that's gonna be enough for most homes for a whole house backup then all you have to, to buy incrementally is additional battery modules. And especially if you use the, the indoor version of the battery, you're gonna have the lowest cost per kilowatt hour when you look at the total installed cost of the overall system. Now in terms of ease of installation, I would say the EG4 system is pretty, pretty middle of the road. Uh, this is not what we would call a modular stackable system where you can break the battery down into smaller building blocks. Um, each battery does have to be mounted individually. So again, in most cases, you're gonna have to have minimum two technicians and you may have to use a special lift dolly as well. Now, in terms of X-Factor, the EG4 platform offers a lot of additional features that I think are gonna be particularly interesting and particularly relevant in a true off-grid situation uh, or if you're preparing your house to survive a, a true grid down event or a long-term grid outage, having features like a generator battery recharge option, uh, smart load control, uh, as well as the fact that EG4 is just a very DIY friendly solution. Uh, many of EG4's customers today are homeowners that purchase the equipment directly, and then they'll hire an electrician or a roofer to help with certain parts of the installation as needed, but where you're not forced to purchase a complete turnkey installation from a higher priced solar contractor. Oh, also I should mention, as of the recording of this video, EG4 has announced that this is a made in USA product. So EG4 is manufacturing now in Northeast Texas, and so this is a made in USA product. So this is the EG4 Power Pro system. All right, so if we look at the summary here, with the Tesla Powerwall 3, we're looking at 11 and a half kilowatts of continuous output power, 13 and a half kilowatt hours of usable battery storage, uh, that standard 10 year warranty, Middle of the road in terms of cost, also middle of the road in terms of ease of installation. I'll give it three out of five points here, plus those two X Factor points for some of the unique design features, the aesthetics of the product itself, as well as the nice integration with the Tesla app. Now for the Power Pro system, we're looking at slightly higher power output at 12 kilowatts, 
Uh, of course, 14.3 kilowatt hours of battery storage, so slightly more storage here. Same 10 year warranty. Cost is, is really where PowerPro shines, especially as you scale the system up. If you're looking at a single battery system, cost is gonna be similar to on par with Powerwall 3, but as you increase battery storage, again, for, the, for larger and true whole house backup applications, it's gonna be hard to beat PowerPro if you look at total installed cost per kilowatt hour. Uh, I'll score three out of five for ease of installation. Not the easiest system to install, but certainly not the hardest. Also very friendly in terms of the support staff, very friendly for do-it-yourselfers. Plus four X-Factor points for some of the additional features that help with true off-grid backup. Generator support, smart load control, um, and again, the fact that this is a made in USA, made in Texas product. So if we total it up, Powerwall 3 gets four out of five on power, four out of five on storage capacity, three out of five on warranty. Again, it's, that's 10 years is pretty much the standard now. Nothing to write home about. Uh, three out of five on cost, can be middle of the road in terms of cost. Three out of five for ease of installation, plus two X-Factor points for a total of 19 points. Now for the PowerPro system, I'm scoring five out of five on power, slight advantage on power, as well as five out of five on capacity because there's a slight advantage on that storage capacity as well. Same three out of five on warranty, five out of five on cost. Again, if, if you're looking to scale up a battery system for whole house backup with significant battery storage, I'm talking about, let's say 50 kilowatt hours or more, the PowerPro system is gonna be just about the lowest cost per kilowatt hour that you can find out there. Three out of five for ease of installation. Again, the batteries are heavy, but that goes into being able to provide that lowest cost per kilowatt hours as for the scaled system. You know, these modular stackable systems, they are easier to install, but they're also a little bit more expensive. Whereas if you, you can use larger individual battery units, again, it goes to driving down that cost, plus four X-Factor points for the additional off-grid features for a total of 25 points. So folks, this has been a head-to-head -head comparison of the Tesla Powerwall 3 and the EG4 Power Pro system. You know, again, the, the purpose of doing these videos is not to say that one battery is better than the other or one company is better than the other always, uh, but to just give you some things to think about as you're considering your options for a solar and battery storage system. Uh, certainly Tesla is gonna appeal more to those that are looking for a complete turnkey all-in-one system where the, the company kind of takes care of everything for you. I think EG4 is, is has been and will continue to be uh, much more appealing to those that want to take a more hands-on approach to your solar installation or perhaps even participate in the installation yourself with an electrician or a roofer helping you certain parts where you need it. Well folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way as we have new videos like this coming out, It'll come up on your recommended homepage videos and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home now, uh, if you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a price quote and you need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best deal and the right equipment, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online calculator tool so you can see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.